Hey everyone, welcome to Study Card. I'm Yogi Shideshwara, and in today's video, we are going to break down the perfect roadmap for becoming a Java full stack developer. One of the most in demand skills in 2025. Whether you are a fresher, someone with a career gap, or even an experienced professional looking to upskill, uh, this guide is for you. You in this video, you will learn what is Java full stack development why it's so popular uh, and what are the job roles and salaries essential skills uh, learning resources and how to build a solid career in this field by end of this video you will have a clear action plan to become a java full stack developer so let's get started why choose java for stack development java full stack development is one of the most stable and uh, high paying career choice today but why because java is everywhere did you know that netflix amazon linkedin and swiggy all run on java and it apps banking applications e-commerce platforms and even artificial intelligence ai based systems are also used in java over 3 billion devices run java and make it a safe and future-proof career choice. Whereas comes to job security and the high salaries, in India alone, 50,000 plus Java developer jobs are posted every month. Salaries starts from 5 to 8 lakhs per annum for freshers and can go up to 30 lakhs per annum for experienced professionals. Globally, Java developers earn $100,000 per annum and uh, like in uh, top countries like uh, USA, Canada and Germany. Uh, actually Java full stack, like a full stack means more opportunities guys. Uh, companies prefer full stack developers because they can handle both front end and back end works nowadays DevOps too. That means more job openings, higher salaries and better career growth. Now that you know why Java full stack is the best choice. Let's move on to what exactly Java Full Stack developers do. A Java Full Stack developer is a software engineer who, who works on both front end, uh, I mean user interface and back end, like a, a server, database, and APIs. Example, like um, uh, think of Swiggy or Zomato. Uh, when you are browse uh, restaurants, uh, there's the front end actually, okay, uh, which is designed by React or Angular. Uh, when you place an order, the request goes to the back end actually. The back end actually works with the Java and uh, Spring Boot. The system stores the data in a database, right? Uh, so, it database maybe you we people are using like MySQL or MongoDB. Uh, it depends on that. If you if company prefers SQL based database, then go for MySQL, PostgreSQL like that. If companies prefer no SQL, then go uh, prefer MongoDB. As a full stack developer, you must know everything from UI design to backend logic to databases. Now let's look at who's hiring and carry opportunities available. According to Nokri.com, there are 1.5 lakhs job openings for Java full stack developers in India. Top hiring companies like uh, MNCs, uh, TCS, Infosys, Wipro, Accenture, Capgemini. Whereas comes to the product based companies guys, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Netflix, Uber, Meta, uh, Facebook. These are companies hiring uh, Java full stack developers nowadays, very huge level. Whereas comes to startups, even startups also hiring uh, like a Java full stack developers like Swiggy, uh, Razorpay, Baijus, Paytm. Okay, companies love full stack developers because they can handle multiple roles, right? Making them highly valuable. <laughs> uh, and here is uh, how your career will look as a Java full stack developer. If you are fresher, like a zero to two years of experience, then you may get five to eight, eight lakhs per annum. And if you are like mid level, like a two to five years experience, you may get like a 12 to 18 lakhs per annum. And senior developers, maybe uh, five to 10 years of experience, maybe they get like 18 to 30 lakhs plus, uh, uh, lakhs plus annum, maybe. And technically, our, our architect, 10 plus years of experience, they may uh, get like 30 to 50 lakhs per annum. 
these are like the very high salaries guys uh, for uh, full star developers especially uh, uh, like in uh, in this particular java full star developer uh, actually it's uh, including multiple roles like a front end developers who work on react and anglo back end developers who work on java spring boot and microservices maybe and full star developer means you people who work with the front end and database and al along with the back end back end means java spring boot uh, whereas uh, uh, comes to software architect designing entire applications now let's see what skills you need to master uh, you should uh, learn all these front end back end database even devops technologies too uh, because nowadays uh, every company uh, looking for data sorry uh, devops or related people also so included in a full stack development so for front end you may start with html css and javascript after that you may start with uh, like a react or angular either one is enough okay uh, both are in demand now uh, you people can choose react or angular both is fine okay whereas comes to back end you should more focus on core java fundamental should be very strong and after that you have to concentrate on new features from the java 8 java 11 and java 17 java 21 okay after that uh, go through that uh, spring boot and hibernate technologies uh, like a framework sorry and the rest apis microservices uh, whereas comes to the database mysql must after that if you have time go and check postgrel uh, and uh, and mongodb too and devops skills git github and docker aws azure even if you have time go and check jira tool okay what are the learning path from beginners to advanced uh, i'll guide you a step by step roadmap now for like a steady plan maybe you can choose like that uh, i plan like for six months plan it is uh, if you're not if you don't know anything about the java full star development just start with the core java uh, for beginners level and learn in depth above uh, about oops concepts uh, uh, like abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance these are concepts how we people are using in java then start with uh, uh, like a html css javascript these html css javascript should learn meanwhile uh, learning core java or oops concepts okay so these are like a beginner level once you expert in this particular fields then go like a, a intermediate level like a three to five months it takes uh, then learn spring boot with multiple modules like web module and um, especially uh, like a uh, testing module like a coverage module okay so these are like a security module jwt module especially these are the modules basic tool modules is there right those modules should learn and ob obviously hibernate is a part of that uh, uh, crude operation that must know and uh, master rest api and react uh, js or angular either one okay work on mini projects guys uh, start with very uh, small process like reverse engineering works every time especially when you start your career as a programmer reverse engineering means start with the projects and go uh, in back end actually okay so after that uh, you may learn docker kubernetes cloud technologies like azure azure or aws and finally guys you should work on some real world projects at least three projects you should learn for fresh years one or two projects is enough if you have time you can design more but people who have a more career gap they uh, they should concentrate on at least five projects guys five projects because if you want to get the job uh, should show your uh, knowledge to your recruiter right so it's uh, your chance to uh, prove yourself that's it and uh, i will give you some best learning resources both free and paid uh, for free resources obviously uh, in youtube uh, there is a, a channel called telsco and code with hari these are like best channels as of now and uh, if you want to go like a web level then go to java t point or uh, geeks of geeks for geeks and yes uh, in our channel study cut also we are going to start um, uh, uh, like a java full stack development course for free of cost uh, in english and telugu meanwhile so um, 
you must subscribe okay <laughs> and for paid course if you have enough money to uh, spend on these particular courses then go to udemy or coursera it's far better i, ch I think so scalar is far better you you may choose scalar academy also there is a like a uh, forfeit outline is there for every course especially java first Star development so maybe uh, just choose your best okay so i can't say that paid course this is the best one like that that's the reason okay so and uh, you should more concentrate on uh, real world projects guys uh, start with very small projects like online job portal or food delivery app just just take some clone okay it's not like you should work on uh, original native idea not like that just copy of any uh, successful application like a swiggy or amazon like e-commerce web okay just design some of the some part of that application i'm not saying that you should design complete um, uh, project i'm not saying like that okay just design part of like how actually registration page design how actually login page design how actually products uh actually in uh, uh uh, calculate that the whole price using some payment gateway how actually payment gateway works these are like a basic fundamental in e-commerce right same way like a food delivery app also so just design in your own way okay and uh, my tip it is uh, upload your projects on github and linkedin okay so it definitely attract your recruiters instead of saying something uh, by oral uh, show your projects definitely uh, the recruiters will attract you towards your re uh, real time and practical knowledge now everyone every company looking for practical knowledge people uh, even you have that multiple degrees no one cares in future no one cares about your educational background you only they are cares about your knowledge that to practical knowledge no one cares about your theoretical knowledge okay okay finally guys uh how to prepare for interviews it's a very 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 toughest task people think like that right so but it's very easy uh, i'll give you some topics interview topics whenever you go like a job for stack developer most of the times interviewers ask the ask the co most of the questions on this particular concept so there's a reason i'll give you some concepts here especially you should concentrate on core java concepts um, and multi-threading concepts and oops concepts guys and the spring boot basic uh, modules especially should concentrate on basic modules uh, and advanced modules is uh, is completely depending on the projects guys okay uh, even i'm more uh, i'm very expert in a spring boot but uh, the new company new project may have some new module so definitely i will learn there so uh, it's not like you should learn everything to select it for a particular company so there's a reason okay so and obviously you should come more concentrate on sql queries joins especially okay inner joins outer joins cross-sectional joins and uh, normalization okay uh, acid rules uh, these are like very important uh, uh, when it comes to the database and sql queries and rest apis how actually rest apis works and all those things and whereas comes to the soft skills matters uh, communication skills and problem solving mindset very 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 important and you should more concentrate on mock interviews guys uh, practice on lead code hacker rank and geeks for geeks these are these platforms definitely uh, help you to improve your uh, coding skills problem solving mindset so i'm suggesting this especially lead code and hacker rank mostly lead code guys mostly lead code most the, uh, nowadays every company asks that uh, most of the interview questions from the lead code that's the reason okay and is it a future proof when you choose java for Star development 100 percent not 100 percent it's a thousand percent guys thousand percent is a future proof because now java full star development integrated with multiple uh, sector sections like uh, even if you observe as a full star developer should work on front end back end database and as well as the devops things also <laughs> And we people are work on the microservices. We people are more work on cloud computing like AWS, Azure Growth, and we are in already working on AI and Java, like a, it's a in integrated machine learning integration. Java for Star development is a high demand, high paying career, guys. No doubt at all. Just focus on skills, real world projects, and consistent practice. If you follow this 
रोड मैप यू विल बिकम ए जॉब रेडी जावा फर्स्ट डेवलपर इन सिक्स मंथ्स दैट्स इट गाइस आई होप दिस वीडियो डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू टू टेक दिस जन इन जावा फर्स्ट डेवलपमेंट डेवलपमेंट एज ए करियर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू स्टडी ई कार्ट फॉर मोर वैल्यूबल कंटेंट Check out our other tutorials to sharpen your skills in Java, DSC, and web development, and more. In future, I will upload more, more, more content, more tutorials, more career guidance videos, both languages, guys. Telugu and English in the same channel. Okay, comment below if you are ready to start your Java first tag journey. See you in next video. Thank you.